Welcome to the Softy TV. It is the Everton News Daily. Carlo Ancelotti has done his pre-match press conference ahead of Everton's trip to Crystal Palace tomorrow. It included a vote of confidence for Jordan Pickford. It was asked about um, whether he's interested in another goalkeeper and he said, no, that's not what we're looking for. He said uh, Pickford's a great goalkeeper and he's got full faith in him. So there you go. It's all on Jordan to, uh, to get back to given some top performances. Um, he also, at his press conference, confirmed that Fabian Delft won't travel to uh, the capital. He said, he, well, he indicated that he will play against West Ham in the Carabao Cup next week. Uh, and the same for Niels and Kunku, who's asked about him, and said he's doing really well. He surprised them. And he did definitely indicate that he may take part in uh, the game against West Ham. I think it'd be a good opportunity to see Nkunku against Obviously, better opposition, but um, it's the cup, isn't it? And you want to do well, but he's been, he's been excellent so far. Uh, he was also asked about Dominic Calvert-Lewin and Richarlison and said he expects them both to score 20 goals, otherwise uh, he'll be having a word with them. Uh, even when his father's saying he he could score 20 goals, having hammers behind them. So the gauntlet's well thrown down there to our front two. Uh, apparently, Everton are in talks with Barcelona for jean Claire Tadebo. That is according to the Independent. A lot of other people have picked it up now as well. 20-year-old centre-back spent some time on loan at Schalke. Um, you know, obviously Tamori was the first choice for a loan, but it looks as though he'll be staying at Chelsea. That's how it seems anyway at the moment. So, Tadebo, good age. He's quick, strong. I, I don't know. Is he ready to go straight in or is he just cover? Who knows? Obviously, working with Ancelotti would help him improve but there is definitely question marks from him um over him rather than giving it you know watch them at Schalke he was a little bit all over the place if I'm being honest but uh, we'll see whether there is anything in that but that's according to the independent um we've done a video on the centre backs actually to be our later so have a look at that one if you've got the time. Uh, Dennis Adeniran has joined Wickham Wanderers on a season long loan. Adeniran is in the final a year of his contract, so whether or not Everton offer him a new deal or he ends up um, joining Wickham full, you know, full time, that's up to him. But he's got a year to impress uh, different people, I suppose, going there. So good luck to Dennis Adenir and there. Uh, and apparently, Everton have been offered our Caduus Milic, I'm going to get his name right, uh, from Napoli, 26 year old striker. Uh, he played under Carlo before, scored 17 goals in 35 games under Ancelotti. Um, been rumoured to be going to Spurs, but apparently that's broken down at the moment, and Everton have been offered them as well. But for it looks like twenty million or something, I don't think I don't see Everton uh, buying him unless Moise Keane was to move back to Italy. Uh, obviously, Carlo Ancelotti was asked about Keane today and said he scored two goals in two games, so you know he'll score goals this season. You know, indicating that Keane isn't going anywhere. So it's going to be obviously interesting now. There's what. Nine days, ten days left until the window shuts. So, you know, a lot of clubs seem to be uh, grabbing players while they can. So, it remains to be seen whether Everton can do any business again. Until Otto reiterated today that the squad is too big. So, we get a few out. Who knows? Maybe we will go in for another forward player. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. That is it for the news today. So, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. If you want more videos, join us on Patreon. Otherwise, have a fantastic weekend. See you later.